Hello everyone, our today's question is for permutation combination. Now our today's question is, how many different words can be formed using all the letters of the word could could if no two alike letters are together? So in that word, KK cannot be together, UU cannot be together and TT cannot be together. Now I'm going to solve this through a unique way, that is from set theory I'm going to solve. So let's say this is our Venn diagram. This contains all the elements which contain where UU are together, where UU are not together, all the combination. So let's say this is our first set which contain K and K together. Let's say this is our first set. Now second set is let's say this is where U, U are together. Let's say this is the third set where T, T are together. And the question is we have to find all the words where no two alike letters are together. That means why they have the intersection common. So there will be some words where K, K and U, U are together. Why they have intersection common here? There will be some words where KK and TT are together. So that's why these three have intersection. Now, let's say we, I'm dividing this into particular areas. Let's say this is our first area. This is our second area. This is our third area. Where KK, UU and TT are together. Let's say this is our fourth area where these two KK and UU at the same time are together. This is the fifth area and this is the sixth area. And in between, where you can see here, where all three are together and let's say outside area where no two alike letters are together so our objective clearly here is area 8 this will be our objective from the starting we have to calculate area 8 now I'm going to calculate first of all I'm going to calculate total area here okay total area that means area or I can write total area total area will be I think total we have six words so six factorial Divide by 2 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial will come. And I think that will be equal to 90 here. So total number of words, that means sum of all the area. If I calculate the area, area 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on till 8. Sum of all the areas will be equal to 90 here. Now out of 90, we have to find the area 8. This will be our objective where no two alike letters are together. Now next calculation I'm going to do for area 7. So for area 7, I think for area 7, we have the KK together, UU together and TT together. So KK, I'm going to treat as one unit. TT, I'm going to treat as one unit. And UU, I'm going to treat as one unit. So area 7 from here, area 7 will be equal to, I think, 3 factorial here. Because I'm going to treat, I'm treating them as one one unit here. So this will be equal to 6. Now I'm going to do the calculation for area 4, 5 and 6. So let's say area I'm 4 I'm calculating here. Meaning of area 4 is where KK are together, uh, where UU are together and then where TT cannot be or cannot be, can be or cannot be. So let's say T and T, they are free here. So if I calculate, if TT is floating anywhere, okay, TT are together, TT are not together, I don't care here. So area 4 will be equal to, I'm going to create them, treat them as 1-1 one, one unit here. So area 4 will be equal to, uh, in total we have 4 factorial. So 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial, 2 of 1 type. But here it is possible that if I make TT as free, then it is possible that TT are together. And that includes area 7 also. And this area 4 from here will be equal to, this is 24 divided by 2, 12, 12 minus area 7, 6 we have calculated. So this will be equal to 6 here. So area 4 is 6. Now using symmetry, I can say that area 4 will be equal to area 5 is equal to area 6. From here, I can say area 4 is equal to area 5 is equal to area 6. So all three are equal. Now I'm going to do rest calculation I'm going to do for area 1, 2 and 3. Now so far we got the total area, we got the area 7 that is 6 and we got area 4, 5, 6. They are equal, I proved it and they are equal to 6. Now I'm going to do the calculation for area 1. For area 1 calculation is K, K will be together. Next, uh, U, U are free and T and T are free. So if I arrange it is possible that U, U are together here, U, U are separated. 
TTR together or TTR separated. It covers all combination. So if I do the permutation here, if I arrange all this, keeping this as one unit, I'll be calculating area 1 plus area. As you can see, it includes area 4, 7 and 5. So 4 plus 5 plus 7. It includes all the areas here. So that will be equal to I think 5 factorial divided by uh, 2 factorial for u and 2 factorial for t. So this is 120 divided by 4 that is 30. Now from here area 1. Area 1 will be equal to 30 minus 2 times area 5 or area 4 you can say. So that is minus 12 and minus area 7 that is 6. So I think from here we got 30 minus 18 that is 12. So area 1 is 12. Now I'm going to calculate uh, area 2 and 3. As you can see, if I do the calculation, the area 2 and area 3 will be exactly same. So area 1 will be same as area 2 will be same as area 3. You can check the calculation. The calculation will be exactly same because symmetry, I'm using symmetry and I'm saying the calculation will be exactly same. Next, uh, we have to find area 8. So area 8 can be written as total area that we have minus area from 1 plus 2 plus 3 so on till 7 if I subtract all the areas we'll get the area 8 from total if we subtract all this we'll get the area 8 so we'll have here 90 minus 3 times of area 1 because area 1 2 3 are equal so 3 times into 12 minus uh, 3 times into area 4 because 4 5 6 are also equal so 3 times into 6 minus area 7 that is 6 so here we have 90 minus this is 36 minus this is 18 and this minus 6 so here we have 90 uh, and this is I think minus 24 and then minus uh, 60 so 90 minus 60 we have here 30 so 30 will be our final answer so area 8 where no two alike are together will be 30 total number of words will be 30 this will be our final answer and that will be all